Hi, I'm Michael Bream. I'm from EV West, and today we're going to talk a little bit about bottom balancing. Okay, so here we have our Cal 180 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, and we've got a couple cells out of balance. We're going to be adding this pack to a car, and we want to make sure that the whole entire traction pack is balanced. Uh, our technique, uh, what we prefer, is a bottom balance. We feel this gives the most accurate balancing, and uh, it makes up for small inconsistencies in internal resistance of each cell. Each cell has its own internal resistance, which uh, is a characteristic of that cell, and it will directly regulate how quickly the cell will charge and discharge. What we have here is the EV West bottom balancer. What I've got is I've got it hooked up to the center pack here to show you that you can do it in series. There's three cells here, but only one of them is connected at the time. Okay, so here we have the display. It's currently in its balancing mode. You can see it's drawing. You have your amp hour counter down here. We've drawn uh, one tenth of an amp so far. We're currently drawing 19.4 amps and our lapse time is 23 seconds at this point. This will take about four hours to completely discharge and bring it down to about 2.75 volts. We actually like a slightly lower bottom voltage to balance to. We think uh, 2.6 is uh, safe and it's a more accurate voltage to get to. And as long as we're not putting heavy amperage loads through the batteries or trying to drive them when they're at 2.6 volts, the cells will be fine. They actually like that. So the most important detail of balancing your batteries is making sure that the voltage is accurately measured. Uh, this is a lot more difficult than it sounds. What we have here is we have these uh, nice serrated jaw uh, clamps, battery clamps, and they're under a pretty good load. But what we need to do is we really need to make sure that these are seated properly. If they're just slightly off uh, and the resistance varies a little bit too much in this connection, we won't get a real accurate voltage read, which entails that we won't get a really accurate balance. And uh, that's what we're trying to get. When you put the connectors on, make sure they're firmly on, on the bolts and the battery terminal bolts. Uh, you might want to go through and just really double check your bolts to begin with, make sure they're nice and snugged up and everything's looking really good. So these batteries are at about 3.25 volts. We like to put the balancer on the batteries at about three volts or below. Therefore, we recommend driving the car, bringing it down somewhere below 20% depth of discharge. At that point, you'll have about three volts in the batteries and that's an ideal time to use the battery balancer. Drawing 20 amp hours, the balancer will completely balance your battery if it's below three volts in about 10 minutes per cell. Uh, with the audible alarm and uh, kind of staying on it a little bit, you can definitely balance a, a large pack, 60 to 80 cell pack uh, within a day, which is uh, really brings it the time down. So that's about it for the uh, EV West bottom balancer. You can see it's a nice tight little unit. We have a cooling fan over here and some air intake ducts. It does plug into 110 volts, which runs the internal power supply, and it has its own connectors uh, that go to the battery. It's a nice compact little unit. It's got a nice little carrying handle on it. It's uh, fairly rugged, although we, did, you know, we don't encourage playing soccer or anything like that with it. But uh, there it is. We use this service on all the cars that we convert here at EV West, and we also make it available to all of our customers that purchase battery packs or uh, motors or controllers from us. And we also perform it as a service. So if you have your car, it's a little bit out of balance, you're not too sure about the finer details of balancing, go ahead and bring on down and we'll professionally balance your battery pack.